Welcome back, episode three. Dear friends, dear friends, glad to see you again. So it's dawn. So I'm venturing forth a bit. Don't dig right under yourself. You know better. I think oh, I lost it. Fudge. I've got a metric buttload. Of iron. So it's not too big a problem. Oh my goodness. Look at all that. Uh, my... Where is it? Over there, my... Uh, furnace is still chugging along. With all the iron ore I had from yesterday. Plus a lot of... Uh, meat. It's not an actual cave opening. I hope nothing from over there shoots at me. But, materials. Uh, after I grab all the visible iron, or a bunch more, I may have enough for an anvil. Which, by my count, is 31 ingots. Um, well, uh, while you were away, I made this lovely suit of armor. All iron. I actually have no excuse to not go into dangerous territory now. I'm not going to get much more suited up than this until I can start enchanting anyway. Where is the skeleton I hear? Rattling them bones, them bones. Overhead? I don't see it over there. Lost that one too. That's okay. I don't think I'm gonna go hunting. Ow. I keep saying that. It's a tease. I'm ready to leave, and then there's some right there. You. Oh, hi. <laughs> there you are. Oh, a bow. That's something it would be good to get. Come on, idiot. Fighting. Oh, there's another one. Go away. Maybe one will drop a bow for me. Why are you over there? Why don't you come out? Oh, probably the daylight thing. Just keep myself under cover. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. <sighs> oh my god, I hate them. So much. <laughs> Can't even get at them to melee, because they shoot so fast. They shoot faster when you get closer. But I want to kill them in case one of them will drop a bow. Alright. We've got over a stack of cobble. I can creep up. the sort of mobile cover system here. Because really cover, fighting them from cover, if you don't have a bow, is the way to do it. shoot your feet. That's all. Nothing too bad. Oop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm. I wonder if the one he just killed. Gravel. Of course, gravel. more 
danger than I was actually looking for at this stage of the game. Perfectly fine. Good fun. Jolly good. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Killed. There we go. As long as that one down there doesn't shoot me, I got a chance. Yeah. Alright, got arrows. Anyway. Now, can I get this guy to come around? I can. I heard a baby zombie. Where is he? Frick. They don't burn either. Alright. We'll just tower up. Get my stuff and go. Oh, some more red mushrooms. Yeah, spooky music. There. Alright. We've cooked a lot of pork. I'm not going to bother with the beef just now. Um... You know what? I'm gonna go. I can smelt that next time I'm settling in for the night. Don't need andesite. We don't need... well, keep the gravel for flint. Don't need granite. Out we go. Of course I have a bed, so I'm not likely to be settling in for the night. Oh, I could have slept just now. Well, which way did I come from, even? This way, I think. Eh. Alrighty then. Ah, once again, I... Did not check the time. That seems to be a running gag here at this point. Just checking my armor. Kind of the, the really frustrating thing about trying to rush the skeleton is, you know, my armor was taking it. I wasn't really taking much in the way of damage, if any. But I just couldn't get to him because he kept shooting me in the face. Uh, more birch forest. A lot of that going around. Not planning to do any more caving, since I've got lots of material, lots of resources. Hey, bunny! Uh, until I find a place to settle in. Right, 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 right. I think a lot of Minecraft videos are, are more fun with multiple people, but at the moment it's just me. I may do uh, do one for uh, Cube World later. Just show around what I'm doing. And if you like it, I'll show you where to apply to get in. No money required. The uh, the announcement about the EULA did not affect us in the least. And for those like two of you who don't know about the EULA, that's... Um, and it's always been in, uh, in the Minecraft End User License Agreement, E-U-L-A, EULA. Um, not everyone pronounces it as a word. Um, it said, basically, that if you run a server, you can't run it with a, a, a pay-to-win feature. That is, if you reward someone for paying, it can't give them an advantage over the other players. Right? Um, essentially, it, it's leveling the playing field so that people with disposable income don't 
don't get an advantage. I think is great, as someone who doesn't have a lot of disposable income. But it kind of sucks to be a, a playing a game where there are like amazing things that are only available if you have money and a means to transfer it. Um, and everyone else just has no way to catch up. And some people are really upset about that, which, I don't know, I think it's fair, and I, I actually would not play on a server that had that. You can still charge? You want to charge uh, to be on the server at all? You can uh, reward people with uh, certain aesthetic features or, or things that, that don't radically alter gameplay that aren't pay to win. And Cube Realm never was. They take donations, they're entirely voluntary, they don't even uh, they don't even ask really. The um, the owners run it more or less out of pocket because it gives them a place to p play as well. And I believe one of them has a job that gives them connections, so they get get a good deal on it. But even servers that are kind of low-end, they can be kept up fairly cheaply. And if you start to get enough donations, I don't know, even ad revenue off uh, YouTube videos about the place, they're bunch of ways to monetize that don't create an unfair advantage. So one bit of advice from the um, the owner of Cube Realm for anyone starting out. Don't get a Minecraft server. I mean, it does mean that you have to kind of know a bit more. But the Minecraft servers are generally not as robust or reliable as regular old um, data servers. Right? Makes sense. Minecraft servers are meant primarily to be cheap and meet minimum requirements to play. Unfortunately, that means that if there's a problem, they generally can't fix it right away, or if at all. It means that they're more likely to shut down overnight because they run out of funds or some guy's going to school and doesn't have time to keep it up anymore. So if you can, get a proper server. Team up with some buddies if, if, uh, if you can't afford it. Well, the players can't be play to win or pay to win. Um, it does make sense that the actual infrastructure of the server has to be reliable. And you do get what you pay for. Of course, some people run a server out of their own home, and if you um, know how to do that and you have the bandwidth for it, go nuts. So yeah, I think after this episode, I'll, I'll hop around Cube Realm. Uh, hopefully, my system and connection will be up to it. Because uh, right now, this is not an online connection. It's doing pretty good. The 1.8 uh, pretty drastically uh, improves um, how fast and smooth things can be. I actually... The recording device, Fraps, I've got the uh, the recording FPS relatively low. Back in the old days, um, film and TV ran at more or less 30 FPS. And since no one had ever seen anything faster, that, that was enough. And so that's what I've set my limit to, because Fraps makes huge files. Uh, 
and causes some lag. So the more I'm asking it to do, the more negative effect it may have. What episode did I say this was? Three? <laughs> I have no idea how long I've been playing. Hopefully I'll be able to edit these together fairly well. I do not have a good video editing suite. Sadly, I'm working with the bare minimum that came with my computer, <laughs> which is Windows Movie Maker. It's, it's not great, but it does the bare minimum. It'll do some cutting and fading and um, subtitling. I'll try and get a little bit of music to do in the opening. There's some more planes. I really want to find a village. I don't see one. I bet I can up the uh, the chunks. Let's go to 12. Now before the 1.8 release, 12 chunks would generally make my computer barf and tell me to go to hell. I can't tell if that's 12 chunks or not. There we go. Start filling it in. We got some snow top caps. Look at the fog. That's actually really, really attractive, really appealing. I like that. Ow. The, the fog distance. That's great. Not sure I'd ever noticed that before. I mean, just this sort of like a, a solid fog in the distance. Saying, oh, that's as far as we go, no further. And now it actually has some foggy outlines that clarify as we get closer. Oh my, that is so great. <laughs> it's often astounding to me how such a, a low-res world building can create such really quite beautiful terrain. Not to mention what people can, can create. Geez, with the uh, addition of command blocks in particular, but even before that, um, there's a video I saw recently with, like, giant robots created entirely uh, vanilla. Creative, but no, no command blocks at all. Just using pistons and slime blocks and some pretty clever... Um, ow. Pretty clever design. And they looked kind of like robots. I mean, they're all loose and held together with, with pistons and stuff, but it was overall... I mean, it had legs and a body. Uh, it had TNT cannons. Uh, it even had missiles, which is something you can create with uh, slime blocks and uh, pistons and TNT and redstone, uh, which is essentially something that, when you release it, goes straight forward through the air, and as soon as it hits something, it blows up. Or at least as soon as it hits something, it charges the TNT. That's pretty. Little fire starting over there. I think on this shot, I'll end this episode, because I'm pretty sure we're close to the 20-minute mark. Maybe more. Actually, yeah, because I think the end... end. I think the last one ended at top of the hour, and it's about 20 past. And this is just a nice place to end.